Hey guys, it's Jim from Illustrator How. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you everything you need to know about layers in Adobe Illustrator, from adding layers, duplicating layers, how to delete layers, lock layers, hide layers, I mean everything. So if that sounds interesting to you, please keep watching this video. All right, so I'm going to quickly talk about what are layers in Adobe Illustrator. So layers allows you to work with objects on one layer without affecting objects on other layers. So it's super useful if you want to only change the color of objects or elements on the one layer and then you can simply select everything from this layer and then change the color instead of going through the objects one by one and such. So anyways, I will show you a quick example later on in this video. And also you can use layers to organize your artwork and make it easier to change appearance well as i just mentioned and then you can also move the layers lock the layers or remove artwork altogether however the layers in adobe illustrator is quite different from the layers in photoshop although both used for organizing things and then making it easier to edit the objects let's just take a quick look at the layers in photoshop as you can see i have um, a background color a square an object and a text right here so if i click on the square as you can see it shows on a rectangle layer so it's a shape layer and then the text itself is on the text layer um, and if you let's say if you go to adobe illustrator well i just created two squares earlier and you can see both squares they are in the same layer well i haven't touched them i didn't combine them either um, however they are showed on the same layer and then same thing, for example, if I want to add text, you can see the text. When I added the text here, it also shows in layer one, if you can see in the layers panel. Unlike in Photoshop, if I add text, the text is going to show on its own layer. Basically, that's a difference. So as you can see, the layers in Adobe Illustrator, they are kind of different from the ones in Photoshop. And if you want to have a new object on a, a new layer, you will have to add a new layer yourself. Let's say that I want to add a circle. So I'm going to create a new layer and then I'm going to add the circle. And by the way, this is the layers panel. Um, if you are updated to the latest version, the layers panel is already by default next to the properties panel. If you want to open the layers panel, you can go to the overhead menu and choose window layers. Since my layers panel is already open, it shows a check mark, so I can quickly drag out the layers panel so that it's easier to see and I can explain you better how it works. All right, so this is a layers panel. And as you can see, there are a couple of options down there. Oh, you can extend the panel a little bit. If you want to add a new layer, you can click on the create new layer button and you will add a new layer, layer three. And if you want to create a new sub layer, the sub layers are the sub layers underneath the layers. So for example, layer one, I have two rectangles and um, one text. So then you can see two rectangles in their separate layer and um, text in the sub text layer. And okay, I'm going to show you another trick right now. So if you want to group the layers, you can go ahead and select the object directly on the artboard and then use a keyboard shortcut command and G to group the layers. And the layers that you choose, they will be grouped into the layers above the original layer that you chose the object to. So for example, as you can see, the square was in layer one. However, when I group the layer, um, it's going to show in layer two. So now this, the smaller square is on the same layer as the circle. If you're not 100% sure about the difference between merging and grouping layers, I do have an article on my blog talking about the difference a little bit. So yeah, if you're interested in reading more about it, you can find the link in the description below. All right, so now let's go back to the layers panel. As you can see, if you select, I mean, if you want to select everything on the same layer, you can click on the circle right next to a layer name if you haven't seen the circle already. And then depending on the layer that you are choosing, you can see the highlight color changes as well. In this case, you won't be confused about what you are choosing. And now I'm going to show you how to duplicate a layer. If you want to duplicate a layer, simply select the layer on the layers panel and drag it to the create new layer icon. So for example, I selected layer one and I drag it to the create new layer icon and then it creates a layer one copy. And if you want to delete this layer, simply click um, with the layer selected, simply click on the trash can icon, delete layer icon right next to the create new layer icon. 
to quickly delete a layer in Adobe Illustrator. You might think that we are almost done with the layers. However, we are not quite there yet. Um, there are a lot of hidden things that you can do with the layers. For example, um, if you want to save each element on its separate layer, you can go to the hidden menu and you will find a release to layer um, sequence option. In this case, you will be able to divide the object in one layer into its separate layers. Um, if I click on the option, you will see that the text and the square um, divided into its own layer. So the next, I'm going to show you how to edit the layer options. In this case, you can change a layer's name and then you can change a layer's color um, so that you don't get confused. Sometimes when you create a new layer by default, the layer color is quite similar. Um, yeah, I'm going to create another shape in layer three so that we have a better overview of how it looks. Now I'm going to add some colors. See that now I have changed the layer color. So then it's very straightforward when you select an object and you know where you're working on. However, having the name layer one, layer two, layer three isn't that straightforward. You can make it even better by changing the layer's name. So I'm going to just change the name text, um, rectangles, and then I'm going to put the circle in its own layer. by selecting the circle from the sub layer and then move it to uh, a new layer. And then I'm going to name it circle. Then I'm going to change the layer color. Okay, no, the orange is so similar to the rectangle layer color. So I'm going to change it to another color paint. And if you click on the eye icon, you can actually temporarily hide the layer if you don't want to work on it for now, or you want to see how it looks without part of the element. So you can click on the eye icon to hide and view a layer. And then if you want to lock the layer, if you don't want to move it by accident, there was an empty space between the eye and the layer name. So if you just click on it, you will see a lock icon. And then when you see the lock icon, it means that your layer is locked. So then you can move around the object. For example, if you want to select all, and then it will select everything except for the locked layer, and then you can move everything together. All right, so I'm going to show you how to arrange layers it's super easy if you want to put a layer on top of one another. You can simply just select the layer and then drag it above or underneath the layer that you want to um, put above or behind. I know in this example, you can't see like a very clear um, effect. However, when you draw, it's super, super useful. I'm just going to show you a quick example. So here's a course that I created for um, graphic design beginners and then in my in my vector drawing lessons, I really talk about how you should use layers when you draw, especially when you create like a more complex like vector art. Um, as you can see, I do have uh, a lot of layers there, lock layers, and then I name the layers and I have different color for the layers so that I clearly know which layer I'm working on. Let's say now I'm tracing my face, so which part of my face I'm working on um, so that I don't edit the parts that I don't want to. And then it also helped me color the artwork much easier than having everything on the same layer. Then once you have all your artwork done, there's something you can do. You can merge or flatten the layer. In this case, all you have to do is select all the layers. If you want to select all the layers, you can go ahead and click and drag through all the layers. And if you want to select um, multiple layers, you can hold the shift key and click on the layers that you want to choose. And then go to the hidden menu again. You can choose um, merge selected and it's going to uh, combine all your layers or you can select the layers you want to merge and then go to flatten artwork in the same menu. And if you click on the layer that you flatten, you can see the sub layers underneath. And if you want to make any edits, you can edit the object um, from the layers there. Okay, so that's pretty much it about layers in Adobe Illustrator. If you find this video helpful, please give me a thumb up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my future tutorials.